I was a bushman. A bushman life is a very, very interesting life. A bushman encountered a lot of things in the bush, especially snakes. There are a lot of variety of snakes. Some is, as we we'll say, poisonous, while others is not. I was never afraid of snake, but I'll just respect them. The most dangerous snake I've encountered is a mapipi balsin. That was the, they call them the Bushmaster. It have other poisonous snakes, but they are more quiet, like the coral. It's a very quiet snake, but it's just as deadly. Our next deadly snake is Cascabel Domino, but they too are very scarce. Then come to the poppy snake. The poppy snake comes around six or eight inches long. The back is black, the belly is white. It has four little legs, that's why they call them poppy snake. And you find them mostly in rotten wood, tree stump in these kind of places. It's very, very rare. I don't know if there's any more of those that in Trinidad again. But I don't know how poisonous they are, but as old people say, they are real poisonous if they sting you. That is the poppy snake. But when it comes to rotten hell and my pipi zanana, tigre, horse whip, this is non poisonous. A machete, non poisonous. Cribo, non poisonous. Then they have the red cascabel, non-poisonous. There was a lot of Macawell, well that one is what they call bow constructor. That is a snake that is the government will prosecute for prosecute you for killing those snakes. You see them, you have to call the zoo and they'll come and take them. But as far as I am concerned, the only good snake I know is a dead one. Tell me about the, the one that you said, uh, um, the domino, the domino what? Cascabel dominum. What happens when it bites you? Well, the saying is why they call them dominum. When they bite you, they sting you. You start feeling sleepy. And who survives with you? They have to keep you awake until you could get treatment. But once you fall asleep, that is the end. You're, you're going to sleep forever. That's why they call them Cascabel Dominum. So what makes the Balsain now more ferocious than the others? Well, as far as I say the Balsain, my people Balsain, it come like the devil himself. They respect nobody. They'll follow you, follow your scent. They'll do anything, anything to get at you. Once you see they take your smell or so, that is what makes them so dangerous. What advice you'll give to people who want to venture into the forest, even as a natural hike? Well, the, as a natural hike, a hiker, the snake that a hiker will encounter the most is the mapipi balsin. But that mapipi balsin does only come out in the night. They sleep whole day. And if you is an experienced man, a bushman, you'll know exactly where to look out for them. You'll know where they like to, you know they are like certain places they'll stay. 
where it more come attached for them. So a real bushman, as soon as he reaches in such area, he take good precaution, knowing that any time he might enc encounter one. And when you see they are sleeping and they wake, they are very vicious. Have you ever been bitten by a snake? Never. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Sutton. Once again, at 99, you have shared some valuable information with us. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that you were a bushman, that you could tell this. Thank you, sir. All right, no problem.